Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP video series of Python. In this tutorial, I will be going to demonstrate you how to parse an XML file using Python. So, parsing means how can we read and write the XML file by using Python. We have one XML file. So, what is XML? Basically, XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. And uh, you know that XML is very popular these days because it's a portable open source language and it allows programmers to develop applications that can be ready by read by other applications regardless of operating system and or development line. So an XML file or XML program, uh, the XML program which we have developed, it can be accessed by any of the programming language. And by you, an XML is a markup language like we have HTML or SGML. So it's a markup language we use to write tags between within XML file. And XML is extremely useful for keeping track of a small to medium amount of data without requiring a SQL based backbone so why i have specified here as without sql based backbone for example if we want to store a small amount of data so without setting up sql server without setting up the without storing the data in any of the data format database we can we can store the data in an xml format and we can use that xml file that ex, the, we can access that data by with the with any of the programming language like Java or web, web application or any other programming language. So, in this video, we'll be going to see how to set, how to create one XML file, and then we'll be seeing how to parse an XML file or how to read an XML file by using Python. So, we need XML parsers to read the XML file. So we have got two standard, there are two files, there are two APIs basically to pass the XML files into Python. So there are two basically used APIs to XML data, SX and DOM. SX is simple APIs for XML and uh, DOM is document object model API. Now in SAX, we can register callbacks for events of interest and then let the parser process through the document. This is useful when your document are large or you have memory limitations. So it passes the file as it reads it from the disk and entire file is never stored in the memory. So it never stores the data in the memory and if we, and if this document object model is stored the data, it stores the entire file into the memory and it stores the data into the memory and it reads the data from the memory itself. And the difference between them is that first of all, the first difference is that it does not read the, it does not store the data into memory. It stores the data into memory, DOM. And because that if the data is stored in the memory, memory has got a limited size. So that's why it is not suitable for large amount of file. And this is suitable for big files, big data, big data files. So now it depends that what sort of what type of file you are going to use and based on that you can select any of the api now to work or to use these apis in your in the python program we need to install sx or dom api by using pip installer so how to install them we'll go to cmd and here i write pip install sx or we can use install dom so if you have already installed, you will get a message that the library has already been installed. So as you can see here, I have inserted a command here, pip install dom, and I'm getting a message that the required requirement already satisfied or this package has already been installed. In same manner, if I try to install the sx, I'll get a message for both of them, for this sx as well. So once it is done successfully, once the package or the library has been installed successfully, we'll be going to see how to write a code or how to write a program in Python by, and we'll see how to use both the APIs one by one. So before that, first of all, we'll, we'll have an XML file. So that's in my XML document. So you can see this XML document. It's a collection of movies. It contains the data of movies. So we have collection shelf, new arrivals, and 
we have tags movie title and so basically it's a movie title movie tag and the title is title is enemy behind and the type and stars and description these are various attributes in same manner this is the second movie this one is third movie and this one is fourth movie so like this in our collection we have got four movies and now i'm going to demonstrate you that how can we access or how can we read this data into an python program into a python by using sx and by using dom apis so let's start with ideally so i open ideally this is an python shell to write the program to write the code or to execute the code so i start a new new file here so you can see here i have created a file name as xml parser 1.py and i import the library xml.asx and then i created one class here movie handler with one xml.asx content handler and then we have one initialization function this is like a constructor and i set the values i initialize the values to blank then i create one start element function here this is dev start so this one this is to initialize the variables and this one to start the element and this is start element it will check if the tag is equal to movie so as you can see here we have in xml parcel and this xml file we have if the tag is movie it will read the data and it will display the print as a movie and it will display the attributes as a title and print title here so whatever is the title it will print the title then it will print the type format year rating stars and descriptions one by one and it will set the current data is called to blank this is the this is to set the current data and it will read the current data one by one and print it then it will read the def character self content self dot current data is called to type this is again to read uh, this is again to read the values so this one basically whenever a character is read one by one actual values it will read the values the current uh, it will read the actual values it will display this and then this that's the main function in this main function you see we have created an xml reader first of all we have created basically one parser is called to xml dot asx dot make parser so this xml parser so asx dot make parser method basically this make parser method it creates a new parser object and returns it and the parser object created will be the first parser type the system finds and the parser list here we have specified this this is an optional argument we did not specify so this is an optional argument within this parser so even if we want to specify this one xml.sx.make parser so in this bracket we can pass one parameter we can pass the para parser list as well but this is an optional argument so we are not going to pass any uh, parameter here the next we have parser dot set feature this is to turn off the namespace and xml dot sx dot handler dot feature namespace zero zero is to turn off and to to turn it on we'll specify one here and this function see override the default context handler so it will override the context handler here handler is equal to movie handler so basically what is this context handler this one so we have this content handler this must be this is a content handler object So this content handler basically it's a tag and attributes to add the flavor of XML. A content handler object provides a method to handle various parsing events, and its owing parse call content handler method at its parser the XML file. So and uh, this is called at the start and end of each element. This content handler it, it should call at the start and at the end of the each element. So if the parser is not in namespace mode. so we have a method here start element and end elements are called otherwise the correspond method start element ns and end element ns are called so we have already specified this so now if we are if we execute this and the file which we are going to the file which we are going to parse that is the movies.xml and this file i have stored in the same directory where i have stored this uh, this x this python file in the same directory this python 27 an xml parser 1.py it's in the same location and now when we run it now when we execute it so when i run this run this program when i press f5 you can see the file has been successfully run and i got the list of the titles uh, the details here movie enemy behind 
and this is another this is another movie this is another movie this is another movie so as i told you this sx the library the api which have which we are using here sx library this is sufficient this is suitable if we are reading the data directly from the system directly from the local file because it will not upload the data into the memory and it can read a large file as well but let's suppose if we are reading small files so for that we have dom we have the uh, we have the dom api the document object model api and we can use this document object object model api to parse the xml file by using python as well so let's see a program for this dom as well so you can see here this program this file basically in this file i have imported xml.dom.minidom import parse and uh, this open xml document so this file uh, i'm going to parse by using the dom tree this uh, this dom object model and it's a collection so i created a collection is called dom tree dot document tree then i set if at attribute has shelf and the root element contains shelf and uh, it get all the movies in the collection so it get all the movies one by one in this collection stored in this movies and it print details of each movie to print the details of each movie i check here if the movie dot attribute has title then it will print the title and it will print other details like uh, we are getting from the collections basically so we have child node data and type format rating and description dot child node dot data so this is the easiest way to read the data to pass an xml file the only difference is this will load the data into memory and then it will read the data from the memory and display the result this the output so now when i execute it it will display the same output so this is how we can parse an xml file by using python that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on python i will be coming up some new topics and new videos in python till then have a nice day ahead Goodbye.